hello guys welcome back in this video i would like to scatter sugar granules on this biscuits so i'll be using the mash network before that i have modeled this textured uh, and done the look development i have made a video of that i'll share the link in the description so i'll explain what all elements are there in the scene and what i'm going to do so coming to the scene here i've got a plate model which i have done using the revolve tool and there's a group which is basically having the biscuit and uh, the cream in it so i've i've got all these groups which are basically the biscuit groups okay so i'm going to uh, hide all of them and then i'm going to show you this one which is the biscuit geometry now what is this job model is from all these uh, groups i have selected the biscuits and uh, i've grouped into one piece of object okay and why is it i've done one piece you know i just wanted that single scatter tool to be used on top of it so that is uh, the biscuit geometry so let me hide the plate let me name this as plate okay so i'm going to hide this and then also hide the biscuits and then go close here i've got some sugar granule models okay i have given separate or different colors to them so that you could identify this uh, granules are scattered over the model so when you are creating make sure that they are freezed and they are sitting at the origin okay so you got sugar granules you got the biscuit geometry so my i need to scatter them on this so we will be using the mash so for that select one of the sugar granule okay so let me hide this so select one of the sugar granule anything should do and then go to the mesh and then create mesh network and then what it does is it distributes so if you select the mesh and open the attribute editor it has created a node called distribute node and the distribution type is linear so what i need to do is change it to the mesh so when i change it to the mesh it is asking me to connect a mesh so you know we have created this biscuit geometry so select the mesh network keep it open come to make sure your outliner is open use middle mouse button click and drag and drop into the input mesh there now the biscuits geometry shape is connected and then i'm going to uh, use uh, scatter and then increase this scatter and you should able to see this sugar granules are there on the biscuit so i will be increasing the number of points to 10000 the biscuit you should able to see that clearly now what i want is i want the five variants also to be in this granule so how do i do it so what i'm going to do now is go to this repro and then you could able to see sugar 01 so i'm going to select uh, again i need to select that repro drop this sugar 2 with middle mouse button here sugar 3 sugar 4 sugar 5 so all of them are now assigned here so i need that to be scattered so we got the distribute node already added into our mash network so go to the mash and open mash editor and then you should able to see distribute node is already there so assign id okay just choose this id and then choose these two random now you should able to see all that five granules uh, which are there five variants i can say are now on the model okay uh, the next thing is you want them to be of different uh, orientation um, so 
what I need to do is add a node called random. So when I choose that, I need to pick position should be zero. I don't want position randomness. I want uh, the rotation randomness. So what happens is all these granules will be oriented randomly. And uh, you want some scale randomness, you can choose 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 scale. Now what that will do is it makes this objects random sized and that is how you got the granules on top of it. Now you go to the distribute node, you can add more number of sugar granules if you wanted them. Okay. And uh, once I've got this, I'll bring the plate geometry back and uh, I will select all these sugar granules. Okay. And assign a shader. Now before going into that, you need to select the sugar geometry in the Arnold section this opaque feature should be off because I want to make it transparent. Okay, so I've switched off opaque in all of them. After that, select them and assign a shader and that is AI standard surface shader. So all of them are now assigned with a shader. So let me go to the render settings and then change the size to 1280 by 720. Um, because I just wanted it to be a smaller sized render and the samples are way high so I'm going to put it to 4 and then try to get some result so let me choose the Arnold renderer and then just click and you should be able to see that sugar granules on the biscuit okay now I just wanted them to be transparent so I'll just choose the render region and then just drag it there and then go to the transmission area and then increase that value and then that becomes transparent you should be able to see them transparent but somewhere they are uh, becoming uh, invisible because of the transparency so let's try increasing the roughness here and then uh, extra roughness and make see whether they are somehow popping up they're not really coming up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose uh, a cheat that is I'm going to use emission and then choose a value of 0 0.1 and then you should be able to see though it is transparent it is behaving trans uh, you know it starts uh, visible there so if it is too white you can use a value of 0 0.05 and you get that nice granules on your model so i'll switch off the render region and then choose the camera to perspective one which was my framed render and then uh, change the render to this and you should able to see all that sugar topped or seasoned biscuits Uh, at this point of time, uh, I feel one thing that is the sugar granules are way too much. So I'm going to stop this render. Then go to the distribute node and uh, choose this to 9000. And also I'll go to the random and then scale to 0 0.25, 0 0.25 and 0 0.25. And then use a comparative render and see... Uh, if there is any difference in the result yeah I could see the size is a little bit smaller and also um, I could see they are less dense and it's uh, becoming too prominent so I'm going to select the sugar model and then open up this and then reduce the emission to 0 0.02 and then keep it very low in terms of visibility and it should be very subtle so I'll switch off the render region option and then render it so this is the result what I have got so you can use a uh, um, mesh network and then use this kind of scattering effect or also you can use particle effects uh, somewhere I believe 
mesh network is more reliable and uh, more predictable in comparative to the particle effects hope you liked it